Brian says, Teams retires client ability to load websites from channel tabs. Microsoft plans to change the way that the Teams website channel tab works. And so that all well, that happened in April. Um, instead of the client opening a site, a new browser tab opens. Microsoft says that the change better aligns with best practice for web security and privacy. I don't understand their decision to do this. How should we handle this change? Mm. So I can jump in on this one and say yeah. that, yeah, this is because of the new web standards that they're aligning to this. So with the new Teams app, that is going to be the experience that you're going to have that it's going to open in a separate browser. You know, something that to consider is, is this something that you are linking to that is in an app already that you could just go and look for that app in Teams and then bring that app tab in? And that would be a better experience that way. But unfortunately, if there's not, there's not really any workarounds. You have to, to work with it in the browser itself. What was the reasoning for that with the new standards? Why Security. Is that it's mostly from a security perspective, as far as instead of it being embedded in Teams, that it's going to open in the browser where it can, all of the permissions and security settings and all of that can apply with the way the browser is set up. Yeah. Uh, frankly, a website in the tab never acted particularly nicely anyway. So there was a lot yeah. of user frustration in terms of the way that it worked because it wasn't an app that was actually built to be a browser inside mm -hmm. Teams, it was just a kind of a plug-in to try and move back and forward and, and yeah. you know, searching and you know, all those sorts of things. It didn't, it didn't behave very nicely. So yeah. I, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. It was fine if you were just going in to do it just a straight, like if you were doing a straight read, rolling, mm -hmm. scrolling your way down, um, that's fine. Like, I, I mean, I understand that there is some user frustration, the fact that it's actually now navigating you out of Teams where the whole premise of Teams was one place to go to do right. your work yeah and it's no longer just the one place to go to do your work because if it's anything there's website now you got to get out so yeah. it kind of breaks that um motto around teams without a doubt but it also was a, a suboptimal experience in the first place so, and i agree I mean, with i i agree with you kirsty that it, it's like if you didn't know how to hide the teams panel or how to expand that tab to use the full app it was kind of a clunky experience right you were having yeah. to do that vertical and horizontal scrolling and everything to go mm -hmm. along with that so yeah i'm with you i think i think it's it's almost better from not having that struggle to just have it in something that it knows how to behave in. Yeah. I, I've just become really accustomed to uh, where I really notice um, the experience difference, like like now, so I have in with my two giant monitors, like this is my primary workspace, but I have it. So when I click on something, open up an app, another app, whatever, or in the browser, it's over on my other. So I've got it set up. It's fantastic. Yeah. So I almost do that automatically, click on something and read that then. Okay, close that and go back to working. I haven't yeah. set up that way. When I'm on and the I, road and working from my laptop, it's super annoying. Yeah, but I think I think now that we have more pop out stuff available in Teams, like when Teams first came out, we didn't have that, right? We couldn't pop a chat out separately. We couldn't pop a meeting out separately. Now that we have more of that, I don't think that this is feels so out of place to have it opening in a separate browser tab. And I'm like you, if I have multiple monitors, I would almost want that, right? Because I may want to have that conversation in the channel open and go to that resource in another tab or in another browser area as well. Yeah. There's no like you can't still see your, your tab that you put in with whatever website. You can still see it. You can still kind of scroll up and down. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to dive in, then it's got the, you know, open it now in a browser and you've got to go to the browser yeah. to really deal with it. Um, but, um, you know, you can still have it plugged in. That's not a that's not a problem. You can still see it. You can still scroll up and down. But yeah, anything kind of off the back of it, then, yeah, it's yeah. where do you go? Yeah. Yeah. And I put in the notes, uh, Christian, a blog link that that explains it really well and has some great suggestions and some thoughts on it that might be helpful got it for the resources thank you where where are you getting this from where, yeah. where, where is this coming from? Because I'm definitely connected to the internet, although Teams says, oh no, you're not connected to the internet, so we're just gonna 
we're just going to turn, you know, we're going to die. Can't see as I've seen that one yet. 